This is the award-winning Lee Pitts Live. Brought to you by the North Law Firm. For car accidents and negligent security cases, call Joe at 239-337-1191. By Crime Stoppers of Southwest Florida. Report crimes and get paid with nobody knowing your identity. 1-800-700-TIPS. And by Lee Health. Southwest Florida, you're looking live at Lee Pitts Live. We're here at the Dunbar Community uh, School, and that fabulous historic auditorium behind us is uh, all is not a green screen. That's real, and uh, they just done an outstanding job in uh, renovating and uh, keeping this historic nature to this uh, fabulous school here. We're so glad to have the director of the Pick Up the Ball program, Ted, so, so, here. Let's bump you in, man. Uh, and uh, just so thrilled to get you on the show. Glad to be here. Thanks for having me. All right. This is your first time. It certainly won't be your last time on Lee Pitts Live. And the reason I say that is because I am well aware of what you do. <laughs> got a chance to go out there and talk to the youth in that program. And I, and I still think about it now, and I got to get back out there. But uh, for our viewing audience throughout Southwest Florida, and over 750,000 households and streaming worldwide online, and on social media, tell them what is Pick Up the Ball. Pick Up the Ball is a mentoring program uh, for older teens, young adults, so really high school age and older, and we go older than 18, so we have people joining us that are in their you know, late teens, 20s, and uh, we just reach out to them, try to find them opportunities that they may have lacked in their youth. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the young people that we work with haven't had dads growing up. Uh, they come from difficult situations. Uh, so one of the things that, that uh, somebody in poverty lacks is uh, opportunity. So we try to find them those opportunities and we try to work with them to make sure that when they pursue those opportunities, they're, they're successful. Uh, and then the last thing we do is we introduce them to as many people as we can. That provides them opportunities, it provides, uh, provides them a uh, perspective on the world and on life, and uh, helps them develop a network. Outstanding. And when you came and talked to them, uh, they're still talking about that, and every time I say something that might sound intelligent, they uh, they say gold bricks. Mm -hmm. Or, or if, I, if somebody else is there and they, they say something, they remember gold bricks. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I mean, you mm -hmm. sent me, I think it was a letter or a message that one of the students sent about having had me come there in my presentation. Uh, I don't know if I, I think I responded to it. That was really encouraging, and uh, I'm looking forward to coming back out there and talking again. I encourage people to get in touch with you if they think they have a message that can uh, uplift and inspire and encourage students to go on to be uh, productive citizens along with sports. The, um, the genesis of pick up the ball, tell me about that moment when it was first thought about and said, hey, we can do this. You know, uh, I was spending a lot of time at the basketball court, um, Chandler Hall mostly, um, and uh, I was mentoring a, a young man and, and that's all he wanted to do was go up there and play basketball. So I, I spent a lot of time uh, and I just started talking to the guys that were up there and, and they would tell me things like, I come here so that I can get out of trouble or stay out of trouble. Or I come here because when I play basketball, I forget about everything else that's going on. And I find that that's the case also with, with football and seven on seven at, at the park. And, um, and so I, it, it occurred to me that this was, a, this was an amazing uh, uh, activity that was happening and nobody was directing it. It was just, it was a self-directed uh, activity. These guys are getting out of the house. Uh, they're getting outside. They're 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 interacting with each other. Uh, they're in each other's lives. It's a it's an amazing thing. And mm -hmm. and for a lot of them, it's a substitute for something else that might be less healthy. So I just wanted to uh, support it, reinforce it, and uh, and in so doing, I I met the guys and kind of started to find out what they needed personally and found ways to try to help make those things happen. And it's happening now. If people want to get involved with the Pick Up the Ball program in various ways, you're a nonprofit as well, right? That's they can volunteer, they can donate, they can um, uh, have their children become a part of the program, or they may be looking now and don't even have any serious parental guidance, but say, hey, I still want to be a part of that. From what I've observed, if they take the initiative to become a part of it, you got space for them, right? Absolutely. We. Uh we have a little over 20 guys signed up right now. 
Um, we are able to take more. If they want to come and they can't get there, then we will find a way to get them there. We'll, we'll provide rides. Um, if somebody wants to be part of what we're doing, we will find a way to get them to be part of it. Mm -hmm. Tell me about a typical pick up the ball day. So we, we have, uh, our, our primary outreach is, is meetings. So we will meet once a week. Um, we'll usually have food there and we'll have a speaker come in. Pizza. Uh, we usually have pizza because uh, it's cheap and easy. Mm -hmm. uh, but we'll have, uh, we'll have someone come out and talk to them. Um, uh, a lot of times it's somebody that can give them some advice about a job. Sometimes it's someone that can give them a job. Sometimes it's somebody mm -hmm. who will uh, be willing to give their phone number out so that they can communicate with them after the fact. We've had kids reach out to some of our speakers after mm -hmm. afterwards. And, and that's really what I'm trying to do is make that introduction and then let them uh, kind of foster that relationship okay. and let that happen after the fact. Now you mentioned, I think you said some of your students are in school and some have graduated or out of school or quit school or whatever. Kind of give me that general theme. Yeah, and if I'm not mistaken, I, all I saw there were males. That's correct. I, I have all males now. I've, I have had females in the, in the group. Um, probably in the same proportion that you'd see them out on the basketball court at, uh, at the park. So, so not as many. Um, and and uh, currently I don't have any. Um, most of the students I have are high school students. I've got a few that have not finished high school but are involved with us. And I have some that are uh, getting, uh, have, have recently graduated and going into college. Give me a success story. Man, my, probably my best, my best one is a um, young man who um, uh, was involved with our group. He was active, uh, but when he graduated from high school, he decided that uh, there was a different lifestyle that he wanted that was more attractive than what we were offering him. And he actually told me that. He, he came to me and he said, not really, uh, not really buying what you're selling anymore, <laughs> but thanks anyway. Don't call me, I'll call you. Uh -huh. And kind of went off and... and, and uh, got involved in some things that um, you shouldn't have been involved in shouldn't have been involved in and, mm -hmm. and I stayed in touch but I didn't uh, force myself uh, or the program on him and um, probably about a year later he, he sent me a text and he said I'm kind of done with this uh, we got together um, and uh, now he um, he went out and he, he found himself an apartment he's got himself a great job and he's actually I, I helped him get another business started. So he's actually a business owner now, and we were able to help facilitate that. Man, that's outstanding. Now, how does that make you feel personally to know that you can have that kind of impact just it's, by making an effort? It's everything. I mean, it's just, it's, it's, it's why I'm you doing You don't do it I for do. the money, you don't get paid? No, I'm not getting paid anything, but, um, but, but that's payday. When, mm -hmm. when, when, when you get that phone call or that text that mm -hmm. says thanks for making a difference, mm -hmm. that's, that's the whole reason I'm doing it. Yeah, but was it something in your past that you experienced as a youth or anything like that that made you say, you know, I need to be doing these kind of things because all they need is some direction? You know, uh, nothing negative. I had, a, I had a really good family and, and, a, and a great dad that, that used to, I lived outside of D.C. and he, he used to take us down into the city all the time, spent a lot of time with us. And, and I, think I, I think what I see when I, when I see somebody who has uh, lacked opportunity through no fault of their own, because of where they were born or, or the family that they were born into or right. whatever it is. Um, that is it. Then, then I feel like they deserve the same thing that I got. You know, somebody who's gonna take an interest in them and try to find them opportunities and show them things and expose them a little bit to the world. Why the name Pick Up The Ball? Uh, it started out on the Pick Up Basketball Court. And um, so that's where Pick Up comes from. But then it's also about picking up the ball that somebody has dropped and we don't point fingers about that it's just a drop ball and we just want to pick it up we don't accuse anybody or blame anybody or or anything like that we just say okay ball's dropped let's pick it up and let's run with it i see who are some people you want to shout out who work with you volunteer with you uh get their name on television as well well we've got a great partnership with fgcu and um and my great board members one of them comes from from that world from the athletics world butch Prashan. Um, we've got a great partnership with the, um, with the Sheriff's Department. Mm -hmm. um, captain, uh, Sheriff Marceno, uh, when we first met him, was captain, and, and he uh, uh, is 100% behind what we're doing. He's a great supporter of ours. Um, and uh, I've got 
a whole slew of really good volunteers. Um, you know, uh, Jennifer and Eric and Jim and Dave and uh, uh, Jason. So I've, I've I'm probably. I think I saw there. on social media some pictures. It looks like some of your students got a chance to be a part of that football camp with Deion Sanders was here or something like that, right? Well, one of the things that I do is I'll go out to events like that and take pictures. And so, so that does a few things for me. One, it keeps me out in front of the community because otherwise I wouldn't really be, you know, a face. Uh, a the face second now, thing, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then, and then uh, it, it, you know, a lot of the student athletes in the, in the county know that I do that. So they'll look for me at those events and they'll come to my website and they'll look for the, their photographs on I the see. website. So it, it drives those a little nice pictures. You professional photographer? No, or? I just do it for fun. Oh man, some nice pictures. Uh, it's a good camera. Okay. <laughs> uh, where is Pick Up the Ball? You said there are meetings weekly. You're right there near Edison Mall, if I recall. Just north of Edison Mall, uh, 3594 Broadway. Uh, it's a kind of a uh, incubator for startup businesses mm -hmm. called B-Way. And uh, we're part of that. We also meet off-site. We'll be going to Fox 4 News. Uh, we go to, down to FTCU for entrepreneurship meetings. Um, and uh, you know, if, if something just kind of takes us off-site, we'll go there. OK, we have your phone number and website appearing throughout this interview on the screen. But I want you to go ahead and give it verbally as well. Website, website is pickuptheball.org. Um, and phone number is 239-229-9870. That will ring right here on my, mm -hmm. on my cell phone. Yeah. And I will always pick it up. And there's opportunity there for youth to be a part of the program and volunteers and anybody who wants to help out. And, there's, and there's all kinds of ways to help out. They can come and, and, and just kind of run a program for us or just come and speak. Um, we've got a golf tournament coming up on uh, September 20th. They can be part of that. Uh, you don't have to make a long-term commitment to be involved with us. You can come in, just do something for us. And then, and then uh, you know, I, I want to work it so that it works for whoever wants to help. I highly recommend it, and I'm certainly getting back out there. And I want to shout you out. I haven't had you on the show uh, but since that time. But um, uh, years ago when Magic Johnson came into town, you were very instrumental in getting Magic Johnson to come here as well. That was a really fun event, and it was a pleasure to do that with Mr. Muhammad. And, um, Quality Life Center. Uh, yep, mm -hmm. yep. And it, and it worked out really well for them. And it was kind of cool to meet Magic Johnson, and uh, it was a fun event. All right. Keep up the good work, okay? Thank you. As the saying goes on this particular show, for those who say it can't be done, they're usually interrupted by those like Ted and all the fine people at the Pick Up the Ball program who are doing it. Lee Pitts Live is a Lee Pitts Enterprise production. Hello, everybody. This is Lee Pitts, the host of the award-winning Lee Pitts Live here on Fox 4. We appreciate you watching our show here on our YouTube channel. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, click in below, let everybody else know that they can subscribe as well. Also, when we're on the air on Fox 4, you can also catch us streaming live at 8.30 a.m. in the morning on fox4now.com. Just click on live and you get us all types of ways at your convenience. That's Lee Pitts Live.